This is day 12 of Microsoft Azure Administrator Playlist video. Hey guys, I'm Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. And in this class, I'm going to guide you about how we can manage and establish our Azure networking. Recently, we completed the part of Azure storage. In the storage, we discussed about how we can manage a storage account, different types of options which are available in the storage account like LRS, GRS, and RAGRS. These all points we already completed so far. And in previous class, we understand how we can set up our hybrid in environment to establish our storage. Now I'm moving to the module third, and this is really important module for everyone because networking consider as a backbone for entire services that you are going to implement over Azure portal. Azure administrator is responsible to manage and provide network setup for database engineer. Azure administrator is responsible to take care and manage the services for uh, any uh, DevOps engineer, for architect, means we are responsible to take care of the networking for anything, for every profiles. Let me tell you about the components or content that we are going to cover in our module third. Module three, configure and set up network right although we are going to talk complete information i'm going to share about the networking virtual networking so let me tell you we are going to start from the basic of networking right in case of basic of networking candidate must need to know about uh, uh, ip address you should know about what is the ip address about private ip range yes this is also important for us Apart from this, you also need to know about subnet. We are going to talk about what is VNet. This is really important for everyone. We'll discuss about concept of uh, network security group, NSG. We are going to talk about uh, VNet pairing. The another important part, Azure load balancers. Multiple types of load balancer are available over Azure portal, like up to four different types of balance load balancers you are able to find over Azure portal. And we'll talk about each and every like uh, standard LB. We'll discuss about uh, application gateway. We are going to talk related to talk about uh, front door and traffic manager. These all type of load balancers we are going to cover in our training. Apart from this, the really important topic that everyone need to know about how to set up. Yes, how to set up Bastion service. Yes, you should know about how we can establish Bastion service. Number next, configure VPN and express route. So these all topics are important for every Azure administrator. So let me tell you, this is 12 class, first day of our networking and uh, for to understand how VNet can work, to understand how NSG can help us to protect our infrastructure, mandatory part is you must need to know about the IP address. You should know about the gap between public and private IP address. So let me tell you about IP management, right? Because no matter you are going to establish your local area network, you are going to establish a wide area network, or you are going to establish networking with the help of any virtual infrastructure, IP address is mandatory for all the types of network infrastructure. So let's start about IP class, yes, you should know about class of IP address, then range of IP address, and you also need to know about subnet mask, yes. I'm talking about the default subnet mask. Class is started from A, B, C, D, and E. Total five classes of IP address available. Range of IP address, 0 to 126, 128 to 191 for B class, 192 to 223 for C class, 224 
2239 for D class, 240-2254 for E class. About the subnet, 255.0.0.0, 255.255.0.0 and 255.255.255.0, right? The subnet, default subnet mask of class A, B and C. What about D class? Let's talk about D class. It is applicable for multicasting. It is applicable for multicasting. And you can also use it for live streaming. Next, 240 to 254, it is applicable for research and development or reserve for future. It means that we are authorized to configure local area network with the help of A class IP address, B class and C class. Not the, the range that I provided, which is included with both public and private. So we need to segregate private IP address. Second important part, range of private IP address, right? Range of private IP address. For class A, for class B, for class C. A class is started from 10.0.0.0 to 10.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
128 IP address will get in case of slash 25. Need to add subnet because without subnet we cannot create any virtual machine. VM subnet. How much space you want to provide? Do you want to consume entire 128 IP address or you are going to use 64 IP address or 32 IP address? It's totally depend upon you. So I'm going to add, I'm going to consume my entire IP address, right? 128. I don't want to divide into different part like in um, uh, subnet 1, subnet 2 or subnet 3. No, we just need to provide only one range of IP address. Okay, unfortunately, my account is disabled, but no worry. Let me reactivate it and uh, after that, I'll show you the step how we can. This is first day and it's a type of introduction. You can consider it as introduction. In next class, definitely I'm going to guide you every step. First of all, I need to activate, reactivate my account. Do subscribe here on Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel. We are going to connect soon and discuss more about Microsoft AG104. Take care. Bye-bye.